All right, what's going on, everybody? Welcome back to this 2K23 My Career Game 3. Up two games to zero after a big game two victory. Was close for three and a half quarters, but we ended up pulling it out in the fourth quarter. As they're going to start off with the steal. They are not starting Jay Crowder. They decide to start Cam Johnson for, I guess, the offense. Very, very interesting. The Suns making a, a change similar to the Mavericks, who made changes almost all the games. But, all right. We'll see how that fares as I'm going to kick it out to Sangoon, who is going to miss the layup but get his own rebound and tip it in. So, we've been having our way so far with the Phoenix Suns in Game 3. It's not been looking good for them as we're currently up 14 with their bench in the game. Devin Booker and Chris Paul off the slow starts as Sarich gets a tough layup to go to try and give them a little bit of momentum. But I now have my takeovers and Cameron Payne's guarding me. So, light work. Yeah, the Suns are there in shambles, bro. They're in shambles. I am toying with them. And one to extend the lead to 23. I am absolutely having my way with the Phoenix Suns right now. They showed life in game two. Maybe on their home court they could have done something. But right now they need a timeout. They have only scored 12 points. With a minute and a half left in this first quarter as we score 36. It is not going well for them. And we are definitely going to hold the Phoenix Suns to under 20 points in the first quarter. As they only have 13. And we're about to score 40 points in the first quarter. 40 to 13. The Phoenix Suns have no answer for Gerald Johnson and the Houston Rockets. Rudy Gay gets that to go. That's fine by me, cause you know I'm going right to I'm going right to the rack, right to the rack. Five seconds left, right by everyone, cause I have my takeover. Forty-two points, eight. I'm sorry, twenty-eight. Am I correct? Twenty-eight point lead, as we score a whopping forty-two and a quarter and hold them to fifteen. Twenty-six points. We are rolling here in game three. I'm finally getting benched after playing basically both quarters. And we're up by 33 points. There's no way the bench ruins this one, right? 80 to 39. What is that? A 41 point lead. I have 27 points, 16 assists, 5 rebounds going into halftime. I plan on simulating the rest of this game. We dropped 80 points in a half and held them to under 40. Yeah, uh, I'll see you guys in game 4. Now, if we somehow... Is it going to let me uh, sim to the end is the question. Uh, yes. So, if we somehow lose this game, there will be hell to be paid. All right, we win by 20. I will take that 3-0 lead. Let's head into game four. Yeah, I knew that was going to happen. So, Josh Christopher got hurt. I reset the rotations before this game, and they still ended up messing up and putting Marquise Chris back in the starting lineup. So, this is the lineup we're going to have to run with today because I don't know why 2K has yet to fix this issue. So when someone gets an injury or like the rota damn or the rotation is going to automatically reset, you can change it before the game, but when the game starts it's going to change it back to for you. It it makes no sense. But I mean, I can't really cry about it too much. Jabari Smith, please just take that shot. I don't know why it took you so long. But game 4, up 3-0, let's close it out. All right, I'm going to sub that. We're up by 10. Can our bench extend the lead so I can sim to the end of this game? Yes, they can. 18-point lead. Let's keep extending that so I can just sim to the end of this one, too. And we can just head our way to the NBA Finals. Why are we inbounding to Eric Gordon when you have me? What, like, what, what's the thought process there? Let's inbound the ball to Eric Gordon. Jamari Smith, throw that bad boy down. Or lay it up and completely whiff the layup. Good job. Good job, Jabari. No one is doing anything on this team besides me this game. And I completely blame it on the starting lineups. Because this should not be the starting lineup. We should have Sengun in the game. That that lineup we have before is just so much better because that wouldn't be happening. And then I'm going to have to sit through and play this entire game because we're not going to have a big enough lead to uh, sim to end. Can already see it coming. Can already see it coming. That's not game. Game. I'm trying to run to the left, then to the paint. It's all I want to do. Not all this spin around nonsense. All right, this helped me out. Please bench. Give us a big enough lead so I can just sim to the end. 14. I don't know if that's big enough for the game to allow me to sim or not. 
And the Chicago Bulls are up 3-1. So we will most likely be facing Zach Levine, DeMar DeRozan, and the Bulls in the NBA Finals. When or if we can defeat the Phoenix Suns in this game. It's not letting me pause the game. Thank you. Uh, nope, I cannot ask out. Do I take the... I'm taking the risk. Can, I, can my team do it? Can we get the win? We do. We win by 23 points. And we are heading to the NBA Finals. I didn't feel like sitting here and just playing the rest of that game if I knew we were going to win. The Houston Rockets are going to the NBA Finals for the first time since I think the 80s or 90s. It's been a while. Gerald Johnson leads him. I see I had 14 points, 13 assists, and 3 rebounds. I see it up there. Uh, I don't care about the highlights. Just skip that. No, so I can't even see the celebration. It's down there in the bottom left. Great job, 2K. You did fantastic. You'll figure out who we're facing in the next episode, but I have a very good feeling it's the Chicago Bulls. Unless the Cavaliers came out, a 3-1 comeback. Final box score, D-Book tried his hardest, 36 points. Aiton played great this series. So did Saric. Chris Paul, man, I had this dude in Alcatraz all series. 10 points, 3 for 10, 11 points, 5 for 14, 9 points, 2 for 16, and 10 points, 4 for 14. I really want to see his stats for this series. I will look that up. Gerald Johnson at 40 and 13 on good shooting. KPJ off the bench with 19. Jabari Smith, 17 on bad shooting. 1 for 8 from downtown. He will have been 7 for 11. Marquise Chris, 13. KJ Martin, 13. And Jalen Green, 0 points. And don't, don't, don't you dare tell me. You can see your finals opponent. Don't you dare tell me this man just got hurt. Can I? Okay, he didn't. He just played like ass. All right. In the conference finals, Chris Paul averaged 10 points, 8 assists, on 25% shooting from the field and from three, along with campaign. So their two point guards, I absolutely clamped up. Combined for 30% shooting, we'll say, from the field. And then, obviously, Rudy Gay did not help. Jay Crowder did not help. Mikel Bridges did not help besides defensively. It was really the Booker Aiton show. When your third best player is Dario Saric, that's not going to win you a series. But... Without further ado, you already know, you already saw it. Bulls, Rockets, two historic franchises meeting once again in the NBA Finals. I don't know if they've actually met together in the NBA Finals. I just know that the Rockets had the first pick and drafted Akeem. The Bulls had the second pick and drafted MJ. This is going to be great. They win in five. We win in four. You already know what their team looks like. We're going to have to go against Lonzo Ball and the crew. A defensive point guard. That should be interesting. Uh, and see what he's averaging. He's averaging about the same as Chris Paul was. But these two, pain in the ass. And this man, Andre Drummond, is probably going to murder us. So, stick to stay tuned until next episode. GG.